Welcome to the Pennington County Sheriff's Office. I'm Kim Blumenreiter. And I'm Steph McCoy, and we will be your human resources slash testing facilitators as you work through our process for your future career. In order for you to be successful and get in front of the interview panel, we need you to be prepared. Bring a water bottle, make sure you use the restroom before you come to the field, and wear comfortable clothing. Um, no pajamas, no jeans, um, and appropriate footwear. We don't want to see you in slippers or sandals. To best accommodate our applicants and make our process most efficient, we do complete our testing process, which is the physical agility exam, um, the written exam, and the initial panel interview, all within a one day or two day period. So the testing for the physical component will begin at eight o'clock in the morning at an outdoor track that will be listed in the email you receive. Please be on time. Please have reviewed the standards for your age and gender, which will also be included in the email notification that you get. You have to pass all three components of the physical agility test, and then you will be advanced in your day. Following the physical agility testing, we will allow correctional officer applicants to get an opportunity to tour our facilities so you know what you're getting into prior to your interview. Um, and then starting at noon that day, we will break you into groups and run one group a written exam and then interview to follow and the other group interview and written exam to follow. Um, written exam scores are typically received within 48 hours of completing the exam. It's very important that you pass the physical agility testing so that we can get you in front of the interview board. If you don't pass the physical agility test, we won't be able to see you for another six months. So please make sure that you prepare and that you can pass all of your standards prior to arriving.